of you believe Jesus more than you believe me? That if Jesus says something and I say something and both of them are not in alignment, who will you believe? Are you sure? Are you sure? Romans, Romans 3 from verse 27. Now, that is why if you are coming to this place, our heart desire is honesty. I don't want to play religion. I'm tired of playing religion. I, in fact, I have suffered enough that if God, God will call me a fool if I continue playing the game I used to. God could manage me in that time, but now, not after all that I have come to know. Listen to this. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law of works? No. But by the law of faith. Okay. For, let me read from TLB. Then what can we boast about doing to earn our salvation? Nothing at all. Tell your neighbor, nothing at all. Why? Because our acquittal is not based on our good deeds. It is based on what Christ has done and our faith in him. Oh boy, go down. So it is what we, it, it is that we are saved by faith in Christ and not by the good things we do. You know, it's a painful thing. Now, we're not saying that we don't do good works. Good works are our lifestyle. I was created good with good works inside of me as my programmed system. That's why if I don't do good, I don't feel comfortable because I am created good. But I don't do good to be saved. God has to save me first, complete. Then furnish me with good works. Oh boy. I, am I saying something? Okay, get that. I want to read three places. Then we enter into a very important class. Get Galatians 5. going to let me read from verse 6 okay and we to whom Christ has given eternal life do you have eternal life your, your own eternal life is it a reward or a free gift because my own is a free gift so to we to whom God has given eternal life Eternal, eternal life, we don't need to worry about whether we have been circumcised or not, or whether we are obeying the Jewish ceremonies or not. For all we need is faith working through love, yes? You were getting along so well. Who has inferred with you, interfered with you, to hold you back from following the truth? Yes. It, is, it certainly isn't God who has done this. For God is the one who has called you to freedom in Christ. But it takes only one wrong person among you to infect all others. Only one person with wrong teaching can corrupt a whole Christianity. Yes? I am trusting the Lord to bring you back to believing as I do about these things. God will deal with that person, whoever he is, who has been troubling and confusing you. Look at where I'm going. Yes, next verse. Some people even say that I, myself, am preaching that circumcision and Jewish laws are necessary to the plan of salvation. Well, pay attention. If I preach that, I would be persecuted no more. For that message doesn't offend anybody. The fact that I am still being persecuted proves that I am still preaching salvation through faith in the cross of Christ alone. So one again, alone is open. <laughs> alone is open. And alone have a gospel. So that because once open alone, once it gets out of alone, you have something to boast of. Then finally get that John 10:27. Please listen to this. How many of you are born again? Raise your hand. 
No, don't say because you're a pastor, you're born again. If you know you are born again, raise up. <laughs> say, it, say, I'm born again. I have the gift of eternal life. Now, do you have eternal life now? First John 5, 13 says, These things have I written unto you who are believers, that as I write to you now, that you may know that you have what? So, are you a believer in Christ? So, I want to ask you a very intelligent question. Do you have eternal life now or are you going to have eternal life? If that means God will not give you eternal life when you die. Oh boy. Imagine so ko bra in eku ezo ko na amanya ga eternal life ni nwere enwe asem bagani ki na eku. Image or no. That's why I believe you must have miracles. So that when you shout this, you walk miracles. <laughs> Am I communicating? But let's look at this. So do you have eternal life now? And that eternal life is actually what the Bible said that God has brought you into heaven. It is called the heavenly realm. If that means heaven has brought you a new place to your spirit man. If you are born again, you enter. So one again, as it is written, what they call heaven is actually immortality. It is immortality that they are calling that we are going to enter into heaven. We don't have time for that. We are proven to you that you are a citizen of heaven living among men. That's why you are called an ambassador. Our citizenship is in heaven. Our country is in heaven. So I am a citizen of heaven in Nigeria. It is that immortality that they call heaven. And we say it is not heaven. It is the completion of my salvation. My soul is not perfect now. And my body is not perfect now. But on the day of rapture, we are not going to, we are, we are not even going to disappear. I'm sorry. You are going to appear. Appearance is rapture, not disappearance. We won't go there today. Because when I went to the pulpit, it goes in a, it goes in a big good. A pastor standing behind the pulpit, rapture, man, oh, you park where? Disappear. <laughs> When you study the Bible, you find out that what say you through actually corrupted the mind when it comes to sound knowledge. Rapture is not Jesus coming from heaven. It is Jesus coming from within you. Christ in you. The hope of glory. So if it is not inside, you can be raptured because it's coming from inside before any other thing will happen. Now listen to this. Listen to this. Say so one again. I get, we are ready for this quarrel. Oh, are you ready to fight with your God's power? Are you not ready to fight? Get Tell your neighbor, I'm ready to fight for this gospel. Now, listen to this. It is not, we don't call it save and save forever. Jesus said what I said. Jesus said, my sheep recognize my voice and I know them and they follow me. Yes? Okay, look, I amplify. And I give them eternal life. So do you have eternal life now? So you are the sheep of Jesus. So I'm asking, are you going to believe me or believe Jesus? If what we say contradicts. Jesus said, I give them eternal life. So you have it. And they shall never lose it. No, I'm asking you. Jesus said, you will give it. And so do you have eternal life now? Do you sure? Are you sure you have eternal life? Then Jesus said, you will not lose it. You say, I will lose it. But Jesus said, you will not. And you are saying, you will. So who is against God here? Jesus or any other person? Jesus said, you will not lose it. Pay attention. Or perish throughout the ages. Is it in your scripture that you will not perish throughout the ages? <laughs> in the fear? Confront your mindset. Make the mindset to obey. That is what the Bible says. You are, in a, you are ready to punish every disobedience when your own obedience is completed. It is dealing with the mindset. You will not lose it or perish throughout ages. Am I communicating? 
Now it says, in bracket explanation, to all eternity, they shall never by any means be destroyed. And no one is able to snatch them out of my hand. Why? 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 What the Bible tells us now, I am a jiggy. Eh? I'm an equine bueno. Oh, you I chose to be a believer in Christ. Openness and we decide to go to believe Jesus. Mm, I'm a believer. Paul said, I want everybody who come back to this believing. I'm not the man with you. The man is the one holding you and telling you, you cannot fall. I'm holding you. It's Adagum. Adagum. So I have taken a decision to believe Jesus. I've taken that decision. And we are ready to commit that offense. We are ready. Amen. At the end, let me say this for you to be fearless. At the end of this journey, you are going to be surprised that those who believe Jesus are going to be credited with the reward. You can't love God outside God's pattern of loving him. The way to love God is to believe God. That's the way to love God. Believe God. So Tia can know be three times. Say, I'm a believer. <laughs> say it again, I'm a believer. Mm? Say it, I'm a believer. Because you got born again, it's not written anywhere. Even the people that sinned against God in the wilderness, their names were in the book of life. Yes, that was why Moses interceded and said, God, remove my name. God said, I will not remove your own. Those who do not believe me, I will remove their names. It that means those disobedient fellows, their names were. And it wasn't their obedience that put the name there. So one nigga, Bible, I'm a party, I'm a